We should be recording. Yes, we are. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to check because I haven't recorded with this setup in, in a while. Um, so, welcome to Warhammer 2 Total War, the Mortal Empires expansion slash game mode slash map, whatever you want to call it. Mortal Empires is basically the thing that connects Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 1 if you own both games, and... Uh, well, that's exactly what we're going to be playing. So, a huge map, uh, consistent of all sorts of little factions all over the place. And uh, we're going to be playing from here in the Volcanic Islands as the High Elves from the Star Tower. We're going to start here, and where we end, well, nobody knows. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully this this will this will be relatively okay. Um, now, I've not played as the High Elves at all, so uh, that needs to be said, I feel like, because um, I have a generally okay understanding of what Intrigue at the Court is, not sure how useful it is, not sure how good it is. As far as the unit roster of the Elves is concerned, I have a not so great understanding of that either, especially of the late game units. And as far as the game itself is, is concerned, I have not played this game in ages, so... I mean, it'll, it'll just be one train wreck, train wreck after the next, right? Well, we will see. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Um, let's see. What can this particular hero of ours do? It is a mage. Um, no, I don't want that. I want this. Skills. God damn it. Skills. So... Scouting, cleanse corruption, steel technology, wound block army, and specialist down there, and these are combat skills. Okay, steel technology seems really useful. No, it's not. No, it's not. It, it doesn't actually steal the technology. <laughs> it just increases the research rate by 3%, which is uh, not that much. Action. Um, so all these are actions. Okay. Clean corruption, I think, is what we're going to be focusing on, because that tends to be most troublesome. Uh, matter of fact, we're gaining sca uh, Skaven corruption here, probably due to the settlement. At any rate, let's begin right away with what is usually the standard. Um, build a building and move the army you're given somewhere. What is this? These are vampires. I could play as these vampires, that would be lovely. But we cannot. So, let us make our way over to the Fuming Serpent. And there's Lotus Caven. Let's declare war on these Caven. We are relatively of the same power, and there's, if there's one thing I despise about the the Well. Warhammer 2 in general, it's the map. Like, I hate the map so much. I mean, this is supposed to be the fog of war. This is... What is this? It's terrible. It's ugly. This is supposed to be unexplored terrain? No, it looks like someone took someone's poo and smeared it all over my screen. It's terrible. Terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. Rant over. Um, there's gonna be more of them, though. <laughs> I assure you. Uh... What about Garrison? Ah. So, Clan Rats, Clan Rats, Skaven Slaves, and Night Runners. Can I beat that? Treading lightly. Depends on what I have. Oh, yeah. I have some elite units, don't I? I start with some relatively... Ooh, I start with some really damn good units. Let's, let's fight this. It's going to be our first battle. Um, now, I played... Like a month ago-ish, maybe a little bit more than that. Actually, probably a little bit more than that. I've played, uh, let's say two months, I've played a Vampires game on the same mode. Um, and I lost that campaign at, like, turn 120 or something. I, I didn't exactly lose it, but the Greenskins got so ridiculously powerful that their units, their armies, sorry, composed of entirely black uns and top-tier infantry crushed everything I threw against them, 
because I was pretty much busy dealing with the Empire and the Chaos Invasion and everything else that sort of weakened me, kind of. And then I um, got in a, what's, what's it called, um, confederation with the other vampire nation that was still alive. And actually had a pretty decent amount of territory that controlled pretty much their starting area and more or less all of Kislev. So I got a coalition with, with them, was Stoke, but then got invaded by the Greenskins and lost. So my record so far is actually not that great is what I'm getting at. That's why it's... Um, is it, is, it, is it relevant to this? Uh, kind of. I suppose we shall see. So... Do we hold the line? But yeah, we have artillery, right? We have to. And we have a hero unit, which is not to be underestimated. Yeah, I should have put the units back a little bit. Um, how does this thing work? Not very well, considering there's nothing dead yet. Understood. Okay, I want you to hit the Night Runners. They're the most powerful unit in the enemy army. Which speaks volumes about the enemy army. I am fully aware of this, yes. Shush. But, uh, quite alright, don't worry about it. Let's move our lines up a little bit. What sort of abilities do you have? I probably should have looked at this before. Uh, Flock of Doom, yes. And Hex, okay. Let's use Flock of Doom as soon as they're within range. Let's see, how good is it? Ooh! Oh my! My oh my, you are a mighty little bar steward, aren't you? No, that's alright, that's good. Keep casting, keep casting stuff. Clan rats, sword infantry, you can deal with that. Um, you guys, just gonna fire those things at the enemy willy nilly. I'm pretty sure you missed, or you may have taken out a few of them, you never know. Alright, engage in melee, see how you do. Feeling things out so far, you know, no need to rush. And you're gonna hold the line. Seem to have taken a little bit of damage under missile attack. Yeah. Close with the enemy. How are you doing against. Yeah. Mind you, this is with support from uh, arch units and an artillery unit. You're not doing all too great. Though, that said, you are just a giant glorified bird, so don't know how much I'm expecting of you and how much I should realistically expect of you, but... I mean, you are fighting what are essentially glorified rats, so... I kind of feel like you should be doing relatively okay. Throw this thing on them. That's an awesome ability, it really is. Right. Get a fireball going too, make sure they break. Uh, are we fighting here? Where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. Alright, now I need to kill those night runners because he was an idiot and decided to move up. But actually this is kind of okay because now you're on the hill and you can provide Range support. Get the guys at the back. Bird's doing not very well. Right, the bird's doing not very well, and the great swordsmen aren't doing. Ah. All things considered, I didn't expect a miracle, but all things considered, this was not ideal. Let's take a look at how much damage was done by my own troops. Uh, let me rephrase. How much damage was done with friendly fire? 
But uh, yeah, overall. I mean, it's not terrible, but. Uh, I can use a little bit of practice, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. Or maybe just the game's changed. I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> I mean, I think I expected a little bit much from the bird. Um, yeah. That said, we were heavily outnumbered, though. Yes, most of them were just rats, but still. Alright. I suppose the end result is all that matters. So, we can loot and occupy, sack, raise, or occupy. Obviously, we're just going to occupy. We're going to be clicking that button for the majority of the game. Don't worry. And we've now secured a province, and I believe that should rid us of the Skaven Corruption. Indeed, it has. Um, it rid us of the Skaven Corruption before the Skaven Corruption actually began, which is great. And uh, since I did criticize the game for the map, one of my more favorite things about the game, edicts, there's no longer a number on them. You can issue as many as you want, or as many as, as uh, secured provinces as you have. I think that's the correct way of saying things. It, you can issue as many edicts as you have... God, that's a sentence and a half, right? Let, let's try it like this. You can issue as many edicts as many... ...provinces... ...you have. That sounds weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's technically not incorrect. But that sounds a little bit weird. Okay. Completely besides the point. Um, what is rather glorious about this entire um, high elf situation that we have going on is that we're not looking for corruption. Um, certain factions here and there, namely the Skaven, um, do want corruption. But they don't want too much corruption. And balancing it becomes a tiny bit of a nightmare. Occasionally. So, yeah, it's... Um, a bit of an issue occasionally. At any rate, I'm going to move you over to the Blood Swamps because here is where we're going to invade next. However, in order to do that, we must lay the terrain for the invasion. Um, we must purify the Blood Swamps a little bit. Man, I say that, I could potentially travel across the, uh, the sea here. I'm pretty sure there's a warp storm somewhere in there, though, that, that, that forbids you from, from traveling for now, and that later in the game they subside and you can travel across. Ah, at any rate. Uh, Flock of Doom, yes, increase this, because it's awesome. And we've seen how awesome it is. This is a very interesting hero. Uh, wait, what does this do? Hold on, I saw a button I didn't see before. Total notifications for this character. Uh, yes, please. Okay, and in two turns you'll be able to construct units that are somewhat okay at combat. Now! Ooh, this is interesting. Read the troll, okay. Tribute to the Phoenix King. Income from trade, faction wide plus 4%, and faction wide plus 4%, and tax income locally plus 3%. 3% is not that much. I think I'd rather rally the citizen militia. But we can change edicts very easily. So let's go with that one first. As far as tech is concerned, we're going to need rally fields and an elven embassy in order to do anything. So is that the rally fields? Yes. So in two turns, we can start getting some tech. But, so far, we're safe in our little island, and nothing can touch us. Well, you know, that, that would only be true if I had two full-stack armies defending both the cities, which I do not, so... I can be touched. Oh, I can be touched. <laughs> now that those vampires make it across, I can be touched. Not to uh, mention some more serious threats. Point being, we need men. We need, well, no, we need elves. Though we're okay with men, and that's, I suppose I should mention that as um, part of the sort of 
beginning introduction to everything, because the beginning is not between me and you the most interesting thing in the world. Um, I will roleplay this politically to a pretty large extent. I will avoid fighting other High Elves at all cost, um, due to my character sort of being like that. And I will try and ally myself to the humans and the dwarves as much as I can. Obviously, the problem being they're on the other side of the con on the other side of the known world, but uh, you know, still, eventually we will, we will get over there, and I will not fight them. Um, there'll be plenty of other things to fight in the meantime. Plus, I'm pretty sure I can form coalitions with other high elves, so that should be a problem domestically. And in the other continent, well, we'll have one continent. It doesn't really matter what happens in the other one. Not really, at the, at the very least. Um, what's what's this? Unrest. Yes, unrest is a problem. A problem I would like to fix. And not a great way of fixing it, but a way of fixing it is um, recruiting more men. Now, where's that button? It's this, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to be using this quite a lot and we're going to be staring at these quite a bit because I have no idea how most of these work. Um, like I said, the, I have limited knowledge of the unit roster. So, Lothar and Seaguard versus Spearmen. Um, Spearmen have more HP, their charge defense against large foes, they're anti-large and they're shielded. Compared to these guys which are missile and spear- ah! So missile and spear infantry. Range 165, almost as much as the archers. I like these. I'm gonna get these. They seem relatively similar in most respects, but I'm going to get these. I like archers um, for the elves. It, it feels like a very elvish thing to do. Here's the, here's the, hear me out though. Hear me out. Here's the, here's the, the kicker. Uh, this will need to change to this, and we're going to recruit stuff next turn, yeah? Steel technology for 350, sure. Failure. Uh, I didn't expect much, but I'm um, sort of... The main purpose of that is to level you up, so... Whether you succeed or fail is of relatively little consequence. And we can build something in the Fuming Serpent, which... Between me and you sounds really terrible. <laughs> it really does. It sounds pretty damn terrible. Um, the fuming serpent. It doesn't sound very high elfish, but hey. It is what it is. Okay. Um, actually, I can rename it. I mean, I, I now I can rename it. I don't, I'm not going to rename any settlements. I will rename characters, though. Uh, I won't rename legendary lords or my starting lords, but I will rename all these sort of insignificant ones. It's not really the best way of putting things, but I will rename other characters, suffice it to say, yeah? And, uh... Hmm. I realized I'm not gaining any influence per tick. That's, uh... uh well, it's no cause for concern, but... You know. Yeah, grab a unit of spearmen too, just in case. Um, I kind of want to move across into the swamps. Bear in mind, vampires control three full provinces. Right, this is way too early for those. Way too early to be thinking about those. This, however, is not. Weapon strength plus 10% for high elf spearmen and lawler and sea guard units. Naval Discipline, Light Artillery, Archery Prowess. Mm, let's go with that, because I have a lot of archers. As a mage. Here are not moved. Uh, try and seal tech again. Failure. You are a failure, Vanilla. You are a failure. What will I rename my units to, though? Now, that is a good question. 
Um, if any of you want to be in the game, yes, you watching this, if you want to be in the game and want to become one of my generals or agents or something along those lines, feel free to um, put your name down in the comment below. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll actually, I'll extend even this. I'll let you choose what sort of general you want to be. Um, generally, there's two types of... Uh, I'm offering you two archetypes, right? A combat general or a logistics. So, uh, not uh, logistics, but like um, tactical strategy general. I'll explain in a second. For now, let me go with... Uh, t -t 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 this. We have nothing to fear. I'll explain in a second. So... Notice that when you open the skills tree, there it, it's sort of divided into various things. One is magical abilities, two is combat capabilities of your units, and three is sort of um, map. Stuff that you do on the grand map, right? So that's, I suppose, three archetypes, but this varies quite a lot and is often tied in with, with one of these, so you don't really go for just one. But uh, there you go, I, I suppose, you know, fair enough. Three types of generals, go ahead and pick. And uh, I will adhere to your wishes and uh, put you in. Of course, the, the um, trade-off being you cannot replace a um, lord that has law in Warhammer. So you can't replace legendary lords, basically. That's about it. Agents are fair game. Um, pretty much everything else is fair game. Including units. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure you can rename units in this. Can you not? Yes, you can. You can rename units. So, if you want to be uh, a commander of the unit, and want to name those units, or uh, want to name some units under your command as a general, again, drop them down in the comments below, and it will be my pleasure to put you in and uh, add that little bit of depth to the game. Now, who or what are you, Lizardman? Okay. And a couple of different Skaven. I'm actually at war with the uh, these guys already, which I Master of the White Tower. Uh, let's just end turn. Let's just end turn. Grab more men, and then we'll, we'll march across to the, the blood swamps. Very nice name, by the way. So, yeah, I'm not. I mean, it's no fuming serpent, Cobras Fumantas, right? But you know, pretty cool. The Awakening, though. And uh, without more lore regarding it, or rather, without my knowledge of more lore regarding that, eh. Your command, okay, can you... This can be searched with a lord. Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, not that you were going to do something particularly it's useful not anyway. Not I thought that an agent could search that. Uh, there is no they, or in this, uh, in this case, she, cannot... Uh, let's move you to the border here. Public order is still a problem, but we will fix it with the next building that we unlock. I do have the income and the capability to recruit a few more men, though, so... I see no reason not to do that. Um, do I want to take two more archers? I kind of want to. Okay, and that, that's that's the limit. That's it. That's all the archers you're going to get for the rest of the game. Well, actually... I mean, come to think of it, why not? Because you sort of present a front line of archers, and then behind that line, you present a, a line of even more archers. I mean, that's apparently how we're going to choose to play this. Could have gone more melee focused, but uh, I like it. Oh, dear Lord in heaven! Well, it was good news, bad news, right? Yeah. Hmm. Behold, true power. Yeah, 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 yeah. I realize I could use her as a support Not agent, or um. 
like an army unit, I could use her with like a, like, I, could, I could put her in this army and, and support it, but, eh. So 15 out of 20 then, is it? Here's a question, because I'm blind as a bat, can I increase the size of the UI? Short answer, no, this is the biggest it can be. Okay. I don't want to attack you yet. We're at same strength, but you'll have a garrison, so I would rather... Who's better at pure melee? <laughs> uh, kind of the spearman due to health, right? So... Get a bunch of spearmen units. We fight for order. Hmm. I know full well the uh, issues of having a low tier army like that, but still. That's a lot of factions. <laughs> Alright, capture occupy the blood swamps. Yes, that's kind of what I'm here to do. Um, Alright, tell you what. Attack. Your command. Death has come for them. Uh, encircle the settlement, and I'll let you join the army. Yes, I will. So, according to the AI, I am ridiculously stronger than the enemy. Is this truly the case? We shall see. But tell you what, though. We shall see next time, as uh, I'm going to keep these episodes relatively long-ish, but the first one's going to be just like an introduction and um, the explanation to everything, so this one's going to be a bit shorter. At any rate, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and want to stay tuned with the rest of the series. Um... And I think that's about it for us for now. Let me just plop down a public order building. Nobles, hello. What are nobles? Ah, it's like a hero unit, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take, uh, we'll build the plaza though. Thank you very much. At any rate, like I said, until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.